Dr. Overlord. Hi, Dr. Overlord. This is Patrice Green, the blood bank resident. Uh, I just got a call from Rufus from the blood bank asking if I should approve a unit of red cells that is one day out of freshness. Um, this is my first day on the rotation, so I'm not sure what I need to do. What you need to do is, after talking to the tech, then call the clinician to clarify the issue, then call the fellow or faculty to run it by one of us, then do these same phone calls, but in reverse. That is, then call back the clinician to gain some agreement on the plan, and then finally call back the technologist for the final verdict and disposition. Are you saying that for every page from the blood bank that I get, I have to make five phone calls? Five calls at the minimum, yes. Very often, more than five, since you will have to call people back when you have new questions and no answers. Okay, um, so just so I can understand, this is about a freshness requirement? What is that exactly? Oh, some clinical services want red cells that are so many days old or fewer. If the freshest available red cells is older than so many days, then the blood bank calls us to decide if it is okay. Okay, um, what are the criteria that you use to make this decision? I'm not sure what you mean. Well, you said we decide if it's okay. Under what conditions is it okay? And under what conditions is it not okay? Ah, oh, I see. Well, because the freshest available unit is the best that we can do. I'm not inclined to delay transfusion solely due to the age of the unit. I had a hunch this might be the case. So I think you're saying that because this unit is just slightly less fresh than what we would like, that we shouldn't delay transfusion because this unit is just a tad bit old. Is that correct? You understand superbly. Could I then make a suggestion? By all means. If you only say yes, then why not eliminate the approval altogether? I'm afraid I don't follow. Have you ever said no to such a request? Well, no. Have you ever said, let's delay the transfusion until we can find some fresher blood? Not that I can recall. And can you imagine a circumstance in which you would say, you know what, let's delay until we get that fresher blood? Uh, nothing immediately comes to mind. Then, to my ears, this sounds like a perfunctory approval. That is, in the past, you've always said yes. In the future, you're always going to say yes. And you can't think of a circumstance in which you would say no or delay. So, why don't we remove all of these perfunctory approvals completely, completely to zero and write the SOP so that it says use the freshest blood available. So in other words, have a freshness preference instead of a freshness requirement. That way the tech is empowered to use the freshest available, which is what we always do in practice. And there will be no need to page the resident who will then have to make five total phone calls at the minimum. Now listen. You may think that these calls serve no purpose and that they simply introduce delays and waste everyone's time. But most of what we do here in the blood bank are in fact these perfunctory approvals as you call them. The entire tradition of academic transfusion medicine rests on the very principle of make work approvals. Without these, what would we do all day, huh? These make work approvals are vital to academic transfusion medicine 
and academic transfusion medicine plays an essential role in adding value to public health and to the public interest. You have a good scam going and you don't want me to mess it up. I have a good scam going and I don't want you to mess it up. So do I still need to make these five phone calls? Absolutely. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, bye-bye.